What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we actually went through the cycling road and defeated a whole bunch of trainers, getting some berries right here because we need them, and uh, yeah, we actually managed to evolve Hydra number 4 into the badass known as Gyarados, so yeah, that's, that's a big, big thing right there. And now it is time for us to do a very, very long episode of this area right here because why not? Let's let's let, let's do it because you know what? I did say that I was going to be very informative in this walkthrough, and uh, yeah, promise is a promise. Yeah, I'm not saying it very enthusiastically, but you know it is what it is. And look at that, we're finding uh, PP ups, a bunch of other stuff right here too. And this is under the cycling road, and uh, oh, would you look at that? I edited out the battles. Holy crud. So, originally, I actually did this. Well, I was doing a recording for this episode right here, guys. It actually took me about an hour to finish the whole entire thing because I'm not just doing what's under, uh, under the cycling road, I'm actually going into the secret cave as well. And uh, yeah, it took me quite a bit of a. Uh, time to actually get through this whole area right here. Um, I know I could have used repels and all that stuff, but you know, you know me. I forget my stuff. I forget my repels. That is uh, who Draven Corvone is. He's a, uh, he forgets stuff. A lot of stuff. I am so sorry. Not really. Maybe. I don't know. Anywho, moving on forward right here, just uh, using the only repel that I got. And uh, there is a Pokemon trainer right there. Okay, alrighty. Let's see what you got, homeboy. Bring it. But anywho, yes, this episode took me quite a while, and I did a lot of editing. Uh, you guys won't actually see me. Uh, you guys won't actually see me battling any kind of uh, wild Pokemon. I've actually took it into consideration that yes, the, some of these episodes will be super long. Like this episode, damn near 30 minutes. The next one will probably be close to 25. That depends. I don't even know. But yeah, it's going to take a while, so I, I need to edit out as much unneeded uh, footage as possible because why not? I'm not here to bore you guys, I'm just here to inform you guys how to play this game if you're a noob. And look at that! Bullet Seed. Yeah, that's right guys, I taught... Yeah, I taught him Bullet Seed. I taught him Bullet Seed because he can. Alrighty. And uh, everybody's getting experience points. Look at that, Donatello grows to a healthy level 25, and uh, he's coming out with another Onyx, so I'm just going to stick with Donatello right here. Now, what's another thing that we need to find, we need to know about this place? Yes, uh, there are a lot of a lot of good Pokemon down here. Uh, you can actually find Ponyta uh, if you don't have a Fire-type Pokemon, but I wouldn't recommend... I wouldn't recommend getting Pokemon or Ponyta as your as your Pokemon because eh, not the strongest fire type out there. But it is a fire type Pokemon if you guys are looking for one. You know, there's goods, there's bads, it's whatever. And uh, let's see, we've already battled this guy. And uh, there's an item right here. We find ourselves a poison barb which will increase the power of poison type Pokemon, which is cool. And uh, there's nothing there. Okay, so here's one of the areas that I'm talking about. The Wayward Cave. Now, you do need a Pokemon that needs Flash. Luckily, I do have the Flash technique. I believe it's a TM in this generation. Let's see. Flash? Yes, it is. But the cool thing about this Flash technique is that you can actually buy it as many times as possible at the... Uh, what was it? can't remember. It was a big old convenience store. Whatever. And, uh, well, there's a Rock Smash, and, uh, you know what? I gotta teach one of my Pokemon Flash. I'm assuming that I'm going to give this to Donatello, because it's the only one that knows how. And, uh, let's see. I gotta take away Curse. Not really using Curse at, at all. Plus, uh, not really online battling anybody, so, yeah. So, let's see. Online battle, or no, not online battle, but Flash Technique. Once you use that, you will be able to see just a little bit more. Actually, everything else. And as you can see, I actually uh, fast forward because there was a, a Pokemon battle. Uh, some of the some of the uh, wild Pokemon battle that I had or that I have right here, I do end up capturing some of these Pokemon for other uses. Like if I were to encounter a Zubat, boom, I would have captured that Pokemon because Toxic Batman from Pokemon Crystal. We kind of need them. And then um, let's see, everything else is pretty cool. Um, 
right here in the Wayward Cave, you can actually find uh, other cool Pokemon. Um, Geodude. I believe Onyx is in here. Could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's a lot of double team battles right here too, guys. Um, let's see. I think you have to find a trainer here to actually do double team battles. But I end up, I ended up battling these people alone. Maybe the majority of them alone. So there's the first of them. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be battling. Whatever. Whatever, guys. Let's do this. Bring it. Come on. All right. Okay. So we got a Pokemon battle right here. And uh, we're facing uh, Youngster Wayne and uh, whatever her name is. And here we come out with a badass Doravia and a badass Hydra. And, uh, okay. Just bring it. Just freaking bring it. And, uh, yes, intimida intimidation for both, from both. And, uh, well, we're going to get intimidation on us, too. I think. I don't know. Yeah? Let's see. Okay, so... Here we go, bite attack, and uh, we're gonna attack the same Pokemon right here because you know it started off. Uh, it, it it got us first, I guess. And uh, there's that frustration. Of course, that Pokemon doesn't really like its trainer just yet. Well, it actually be stronger if the Pokemon d really doesn't like its trainer. And uh, well, look at that. Look at that. Everybody has a Pokemon that's pretty rare right here. So let's go with a Bite Attack on that Ponyta and a Wing Attack on that Ponyta again. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Alrighty. And uh, yeah, critical hit on Hydra. And there's that Stomp Attack. So that's, that's pretty bad right there. And let's go with, an, let's go with a healing item because we need to heal our Pokemon quickly as quickly as possible so there it is healed up that's good that's great and uh, let's go with the let's go attack the Veneri because it's actually the weakest one right should be the weakest one and there's that frustration attack oh my god stomp attack alrighty you know what let's go ahead and just do this uh, Veneri thing and just attack everybody let's attack everybody why not and uh, look at that, Baneri or Ponyta defeated. And uh, who's next? Oh, we're getting experience points. Completely forgot about that. And why would you use, again, why would you use a foresight if, oh my god. Sometimes the AI here confuses me. It really does, guys. And uh, well, here comes Shellow, so. Let's go attack the new blood and uh, let's finish off the other one with the wing attack and uh, Baneri finally using an attack that actually that's actually worthwhile. And uh, look at that. Easy pickings right there. Easy pickings. And uh Alrighty. Alrighty. So there's that bite attack. Doesn't do much. So I guess I'm gonna switch out right here to Donatello because uh I guess Shell uh, holds a double uh what was it? A double weakness towards it. And so, let's go with that wing attack. And it does a lot more damage, but here comes hidden power. Oh, crud. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. So here we go. What was it? Razor Leaf? Yes, Razor Leaf. Here we go. Wing attack. And, uh, yeah, that switch was for nothing because, look at that. Simple. Simple stuff like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And, uh, well, look at that. Starblade grows level 25, and everybody else is, you know, happy with their experience points. So, yeah, she's crying right now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Anywho, um, let's see. Underground tag, whatever. Alright, rock smash right here, and there's an item waiting for us right here. And we aims to get it right now, so let's grab that and we get ourselves a TM32 double team, which is also good. Very, very good. And, uh, well, let's move on right here. There is, uh, there must be something else. Yeah, the Pokemon, yeah. So, again, guys, I edit out most of the wild Pokemon battles. There are a lot of wild Pokemon battles right here. That's why this, this whole video lasts, lasted about 40 to, uh, 40 minutes to an hour right here. And then, uh, well... I'm gonna use the potion right here because it did take uh those battles did take a lot out of my uh my star blade right here. And uh well 
I can't really put Hydra number four in front right now because it, the only actual attack or the only actual attacks it has are physical and uh, we're going up against rock types, you know. Something that it can actually go up against, but it needs a water type attack for it. So, I'm just going to be healing up my Pokemon, wasting some uh, potions, and let's see. Moving on, there's a Rock Smash uh, rock right there, so might as well Rock Smash it, right? We Rock Smash the crap out of it. Alrighty, and uh, let's see. We're down to the corner, and there goes that Repel, and here we find ourselves another Escape Rope, which is alright, it's cool. And, uh, well, grabbing that, and... Uh, Bidoof, you are a lifesaver when it comes to rock smashing everything. I think that's why everybody uses you as a, a, an, HM, an HM slave. And uh, here are two more people that want to battle us. So let's go right ahead and battle these people because why not? Why freaking not? That's right. Oh, yeah, they want a battle. They want that smoke right here. They want it. So here we go battling uh, two picnickers, Anna and Parker. Well, one of them is a camper, my bad. And they're coming out with Hoot Hoot and Weasel, so we're going to be going up against some pretty cool Pokemon, easy Pokemon. And, uh, yes, the, the <laughs> double intimidation thing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's a lot of, uh... That is a lot of, uh... <laughs> a lot of, int uh, well, a lot of intimidation right there. Alrighty. So there we go. Wing attack. There we go. How's that feel? Feels so good. Feels so great. And, uh, let's see. There's that bite attack on the Hoot Hoot. And Hoot Hoot doesn't go away just yet, but it does flinch. And these guys are coming out with their, oh, crud. They're coming out with their, uh, Shinx right here. Okay. So let's go with the same attacks, you know, wing attack and then, uh, bite attack because we can. Alrighty. Alrighty. Just bring it. So that's experience points for that Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, we'll grow to a level 26 because, you know, experience share, it's always awesome. And, uh, well, let's see. Attack Shinx because why not make Shinx our little you know what? And, uh, there we go. Say goodbye to Shinx. Shinx is not feeling good right now, it is gone. It gone. So, as you can see, we won. Another battle for us. Okay, that's cool. Go away, kids. We don't need you. It is time to go on to the next level right here. In finding whoever's there, and there is a boulder. Crud. Okay. Um, okay, we found ourselves a great ball right there. Uh, there are quite a few... Uh, th yeah, there are quite a few hidden items right there, guys. I don't get them all. I think I don't get them all, but... The hidden items I don't get, the visual items, yeah, they're they're around there somewhere, and I actually get, so let's move on right here, and, uh, well, there's, uh, another boulder right there, so we're just gonna break it apart because we can, and, uh, let's see, I think this leads us to another person right here, Pokemon Platinum, it, it's another huge emphasis on, uh, double battles, and I believe people who follow us, and crud, more people who want to battle us. Jesus criminy. Okay, well. They want it. Come get it. Let's do this. Alrighty, so as you can see, somebody wants to challenge us. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And look at that. A Gibble. It's a pretty awesome Pokemon. I want that Pokemon. A Gibble. Jeez. Okay, so we gotta beat this Gibble right here. Gotta beat the Gibble. Gotta beat the Gibble. Alrighty. And, uh, well, you, got, you guys gotta love the, the whole <laughs> aspect of us intimidating them like nothing else. And, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch out my Star Blade because not, not a lot of, uh, or not so effective against Geodude right here. So here we go, Donatello coming out. There's that fight attack, and, uh, well, Gibble flinched, and there's that Rock Polish. So he will be faster than us in quite, in, in quite a ways. I, I really don't care. I really don't. So just bring it. Here we go. Bite attack. Again on that Gibble. Gibble doesn't die. But here's Razor Leaf for both you guys. That's right. We're finishing off the job. See, say goodbye to Gibble. Oh, yeah. 
and uh, Geodude. <laughs> Say goodbye to Geodude as well. That's right. How's that feel? Doesn't feel so good. Really doesn't. And, uh, well, everybody's gaining experience points, feeling good, and this guy's coming out with a Bronzor. So now, we just got one more person to pick on, and it is a uh, Psychic-type Pokemon, so it's going to be, like, quadruple damage right there if we use Bite. Hmm. Let's go. Bite attack. And, uh, oh no, actually, we, we didn't use Bite attack because... I guess I just wanted to get done with this and hit it multiple times, and, uh, yep, eh, not the best selection right there. Uh, completely forgot that it was a Psychic-type Pokemon. Things you realize while you're not doing the live comp. So, we're doing it, we're doing the same thing again, and, uh, wow. Yeah, we're just nipping at it. We're nipping at it, that's all we're doing. We're nipping at this Pokemon right now, and, uh, yeah. Nipping we are. Look at that. So we're going to do it again. Nipping at it. Say goodbye to Bronzor. Mm -hmm. How's that feel? Doesn't feel so good. It really doesn't feel so good. And look at that. We defeated him. And, uh, well, let's see if we can find an, another item right here. So, uh, itch, lost, whatever. I'm not really reading this online, guys. It's just, it's just too much. Alrighty. So, let's see, we found ourselves a blue shard, which is, you know, I guess we could actually give that to for a water stone. Does it do that right here? Anywho, moving on right here. Rock Smash again. Bidoof, you are an awesome Pokemon. Why aren't you used more, more, more times? Just playing. And yes, here you are. There is a person there waiting for us, and her name is Mira. And she's scared, and she needs us to accompany her out, out of this whole place. And, uh, yeah, she will actually heal our Pokemon if uh, we actually help her out. And on top of that, double battles. She'll actually assist us on that. And uh, since I've already taken care of everybody in here, uh, I don't think I really need her for that. So the only thing we need to do is, I guess, get her out of this place. But knowing me, I'm probably going to just, like, check out the places that I haven't gone, so, uh, gone to so far. So let's see. Nothing right there. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously trying to find everything, and yes, double battles here and there, editing galore, like, editing galore right here. And uh, there's one more rock that I haven't broken, so let's go ahead and break that thing. And, uh, okay, so there might be a person that, uh, we haven't battled these guys. Okay, so this is probably our only double battle with this girl right here. And, uh, well... I almost prefer battling with the person, but there is a big problem. You only get to use one of your Pokemon. The other Pokemon trainer may may not use attacks, or they get defeated so quickly. It, it's ridiculous. That's why more than half the time I'm a lone wolf. I like to attack both people with my two Pokemon. You know, that way I can feel the power. I can defeat them all. And Dabra knows Shockwave. Holy crud! Forgot about that. And, uh, wow. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, I see you. Okay. Okay, Mira. Okay. Or Myra, whatever your name is. Here we go. Wing attack. So, I was proven pretty, uh, yeah, that was a... <laughs> wow. The, the face on me right now, it's hilarious. It is priceless. So, let's go with the wing attack right here, guys. Let's try and choose the Pokemon that we need to choose, which is a bomb. Bring it on, A-Bomb. And there's that shockwave. Oh my god. And look at that, A-Bomb has disappeared. Wow, I, I kind of feel, uh, yeah, I kind of feel stupid right now. Kind of feel stupid for saying all that stuff while she does all the work. Okay, Myra, okay, I see how it is. Okay, more than half the time, if you travel with somebody, their Pokemon are just ridiculous. I, I believe we traveled with Cheryl one time, and she only had a uh, Chansey. Chansey is a tank of a Pokemon, but it really doesn't do much in the sense of attacks. So, that is one. Thank you, Myra, for helping us out right here. And, uh, well, let's see. I think I've already completed... Yeah, I've already, I've already been around these places right here. So, I think we're already done with this place. Uh, never mind. Okay, so this is this is my chance to redeem myself. You don't know this, guys, but this is my chance to redeem myself because she got both the kills in the first one. This is my kill right here. My kill. In the second one, 
Hiker Reg Reginald and Lorenzo want to battle, and they're coming out with L with Onyx and Geodude. So, crud. Picked the wrong Pokemon for this one. Although, um, Intimidate will be... Well, yeah, Intimidate was, is also good. And, uh, okay. So, let's go right here with a Donatello attack. Donatello, bring it. And uh, Kadabra's using Confusion. And that attack... For the win. Crud! Wow, I feel extremely stupid now. This person is making me look like a... Uh, yeah, it's making me look like a loser right now. Holy crud, I need to trade my Pokemon. Okay. Kadabra's been hit. Donatello's still not a Ground-type Pokemon, but it's been hit. And uh, here comes another Geodude right here. So, let's go right ahead and use a Razor Leaf for both these guys. And, uh... Crud. Really? You're not gonna leave me one Pokemon? Oh man. Oh god. Oh man. Yep. Chose. I chose the worst time to talk shit, right? I really did. I took. Uh, yeah, I talked. I, I deserve this. Yeah, I deserve being told. <laughs> oh man. Myra, you suck. You suck a toe. And there we go. Donatello. Grows to level 27. And, uh, well, it's learning Mega Drain, so let's see what we can take away. Uh, you know what? Bullet Seed, I don't really need it anymore. So here we go. Take away Bullet Seed and get ourselves Mega Drain, which is also great. Gravy, all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, she still killed more Pokemon than I have. Thanks a lot, Myra. You know, this is my show right here, not yours. But, uh, anywho, you know, it's, it's teamwork. Teamwork, it's all that. It, it counts. It really does count. All right, so is there a hidden item right here? I don't know. Yes, a red shard. And while I'm talking about this, I completely forgot that I have a uh, an item finder on my app. Wow. That's uh, usually pretty awesome right there. And uh, let's see. Now it is time to get the heck out of here because why not? Because the lady right behind us needs to escort us out of the place. And I've already been there. And Pokemon attacked us. And... Uh, Okay, already been there. So I think this is the exit right here. Yes, it is. So here's the exit. And she's happy. And she's like, oh, that's an exit. And she wants to get tougher. Thank you. She doesn't give us any kind of healing or awesome item. Now, when you think you're done, completely wrong. Because there is a hidden entrance right here, guys. You can't see it. But it's right here under the uh, the cycling road. And it's another, it's another layer to the Wayward Cave. So what we're going to do right now is use the Flash. Now... I did mention in the last episode that there might be a new Pokemon coming into our team. And this is where the majority of the time, uh, the majority of the time of this whole editing came from. Because in this area right here, you'll be able to find a special Pokemon, everybody's favorite Pokemon, and look at that, a Dusk Stone too. And it takes me quite a while to do so because, you know, I've been trying to find the Pokemon that I've been, you know, I've been talking about. Now, the other thing that happens here too is... Not only did we get capture one Pokemon, but another Pokemon comes to us. You guys will see in just a little bit. But beforehand, I'm going to grab these uh, items right here. Uh, as you can see, those little slopes right there, you can only use, uh, you can only go through them if you uh, press the uh, press the B button and goes it goes super fast. And like I said, there's going to be a lot of editing right here. Um, I think at this point right here. I was trying to capture the Pokemon that I was talking about, and because of that, look at that, our egg hatches after one episode. It normally takes us like five, but there you go, guys. We get ourselves a Togepi, and now in Generation 4, baby Pokemon are at level one. Now right here, this is the Pokemon that we've been talking about, Gibble, the one Pokemon that I've been wanting for quite some time. It is both a ground and dragon type Pokemon. Never had a dragon type Pokemon on my team as Gym Leader Draven. And uh, yeah, I get it. I do have a Pokemon that will eventually become a ground type, but I want Gibble. I don't care what you guys say. So here we go. I'm battling the crowd out of this. It took me about, I don't know. It took me about an extra 20 minutes to get a Gibble. What had happened? Oh yes, I made the Gibble faint. Plenty of friggin' times, which bugged me. It really did. And, uh, well, Gibbles are really, really stubborn right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and weaken it with the weaker Pokemon, my Bidoof. 
And, uh, oh god, there's that sand tomb. Well, Vito, if you did you. Oh, wow, it survived. It survived! Okay, never mind. It's not gonna survive at all. And, uh, it's like a double sandstorm right there, which is never good right here. So. Yeah, it's... Okay, so b -Doof gets one attack, and it doesn't hit it. And it gets hit by a sandstorm of so many proportions right here. So, there goes b -Doof with a Dragon Rage. Now, at this stage right here, Dragon Rage is super powerful. Very, very powerful. And, oh, man, that, that, that really makes me happy. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to the next Pokemon, the Water-type Pokemon. Not the actual Dragon-type, but Water-type Pokemon right here. And I intimidate it. Oh, yes. And uh, let's see if a tackle weakens just a little bit more. And it does. Look at that. But here comes that Dragon Rage. And uh, oh, my God. Nearly makes Hydra faint. But here we go. Pokeball. Let's see. We're going to go with the Great Ball right here. Come on. Stay in the friggin' Pokeball. You mother-loving gibble. Stay in there. Oh! Okay. All righty. Bring it, and uh, there's its Dragon Rage again. This Gibble is a feisty one. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna switch. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to go with uh, with uh, Star Blade. This Pokemon right here is just taking out two of our Pokemon, and uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter if you intimidate it so many times. Dragon Rage will always take 40 HP, and it, again, at this point, 40 HP is a little too much. And here we go with a Nest Ball right here. Come on, stay in there. Stay in the friggin' Pokeball. You mother-loving yes! So there it is, guys. Our next Pokemon on our team, Gibble. The official Pokemon of our team. And, well, the nickname is pretty simple, guys. I've been getting picked on for the last year over this. And I think I already know what to name this Gibble. I'm pretty sure this person's going to be freaking uh, excited when they see this. So, I'm going to name Gibble the name that this person has been uh, begging me to, uh, to to name it. Yes, I am going to name it Toothless, like Toothless from the Dragon, uh, Dragon, uh, How to Train Your Dragon, Dragon. Although, this Toothless right here has teeth and all that stuff. So, there it is, Toothless. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take a look at our new Pokemon right now, Toothless. Uh, before we, well, we're going to heal our Pokemon first. We kind of have to heal our Pokemon. Oh, you know what? We got to escape. We already got everything there. Don't really need to do much. All right, so we're under this place. And uh, you know what? I think in the next episode, I'm going to show you guys my new Pokemon right here. So, yeah. Let's do it until the next episode. Much more. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.